another person called the Holy Spirit. He says, I will not leave you as orphans. I'll send you someone who will help you, who will guide you, who will teach you, who will enable you, who will cause you to be effective. And he says, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is not something. The Holy Spirit is someone. He lives in us. When the Holy Spirit, if you read Joel chapter 2, verse 28, Joel, the book of Joel chapter 2, verse 28, he is prophesies and he says, afterwards, I shall pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your young men will prophesy. Your maidens will dream dreams. You, you will, will, will see. Your young men and your young maidens will prophesy. Then he says, your old men will dream dreams and your young men will see visions. There's a difference between a dream and a vision. A dream is something you see in your subconscious. It can be in the past. It can be in the future. It can be It can be in a place you went to and you nearly died and you still dream and think about it. But a vision comes from the word to visualize. And to visualize is embedded or imbibed in sight. Sight is what you see. And you cannot see what is behind. You can only see what is ahead. Young men will see visions. You are the young men who are supposed to see visions. When the Holy Spirit comes in your life, you will see visions. After the Holy Spirit came in my life, I started preaching, started seeing myself in visions, preaching to large crowds, preaching even to white people. I saw it in a vision. After the Holy Spirit came in my life, I started seeing myself as a servant of God. I started seeing myself as a winner. I started seeing myself as a conqueror. I started seeing myself as a successful person. It began when the Holy Spirit of God came in my life. I tell you the truth, when the Holy Spirit comes in your life, oh God, you will start seeing visions of that wretched home. You will start looking at your family and telling your family, my father is a drunkard. My brothers are drunkards. This family is a home of drunkards. But now that I'm born again, I'm seeing these people getting born again. I'm seeing all these drunkards turning from drunkenness and becoming born again. It will only take place after the Holy Spirit of God walks in your life. The things you are going through that you will not manage with your own power and your own strength. You will only manage them after the Holy Spirit comes in your life. I may be as slender as I am, but you cannot joke with me because the Holy Spirit lives in me. Amen. I have kingdoms and territories of darkness and terrorized. As simple as I am. Simply because God lives in me, called the Holy Spirit. He says, you know, Jesus walked with his disciples and he loved them. And another day he comes and he tells them, hey, I'm leaving. Very soon I'll go back to heaven where I came from. And all of them became sad and became sorrowful. And they started crying and saying, no, don't go. Don't leave us. These people will kill us if you leave us. Then Jesus comes and tells them, it is expedient. It is important. It is necessary that I go back to heaven. For if I don't go back to heaven, the Holy Spirit will not come upon you. But if I go back to heaven, I will ask the Father to give you. By that time, there is a day Jesus gathered 70 disciples, 72 disciples, and he did this on them. He breathed from them the breath of the Holy Spirit. And he told them, go and do miracles, heal the sick, cast out demons. And they went and they casted out demons and miracles happened. They came back to here saying, it is working. After that, what happened? That Holy Spirit didn't work again. So Jesus tells them, the test of what I gave you, now I want it to live inside of you. through the Holy Spirit. But now it is not effective. Now I want the Holy Spirit to live in you. So that he works in you. He operates in your system. But he will not come before I go back. But after God, Two gods cannot be under the, in the planet at the same time. So when Jesus was with us, the Holy Spirit came just upon him alone. But now he says, when I go, I will send the third God, the third ass to be with you. So Peter knew he was safe because of Jesus. Another day, they lack money to pay for tax. And Jesus tells Peter, go 